You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's been a great, great weekend that we had with all the Godzilla vs. Kong news. We know the date's moving up. This video, we're going to discuss trailers because at this point, we know it's coming. We don't know when. I said boldly this weekend that it, we could possibly even see it today on Tuesday. Now, chances are slim to none that that's going to happen. I did recently check the Alberta film and trailer rating website. And right now, they only have three titles on there. Asia, uh, Kenny Sharp, When Worlds Collide, and L The Little Things. Those are, and that's also by, that's by Warner Brothers. That was the most recent ratings, which were January 15th, so last Friday. Um, <clears throat> but look, we're bound to see one soon. And, you know, it would be great if we got one this week. But I would say, you know, when we, when we had our streams this weekend and we were discussing Godzilla versus Kong after the news broke that it was moving up, you know, I said it could be anywhere from this week till the middle of February uh, and, and possibly sooner. Now, I know a lot of people tend to say, oh, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. We've never gotten a Godzilla movie trailer on a Super Bowl, uh, on a Super Bowl Sunday. It is a lot of money to invest for, I think, just 30 seconds or maybe. And considering, you know, if you're going to release a trailer on Super Bowl, you're probably going to be more than 30 seconds, closer to 45. Um, now, on the other hand, though, it would be interesting because you would think, considering the whole COVID thing, that there's a chance that, you know, they could be offering discounts to get more advertising uh, during the Super Bowl. But even then, it's probably not much of one, and I can't see Warner Brothers investing a whole hell of a lot of money on marketing for this movie. Number one, it's basically two and a half months away. Uh, number two, you know, you got to consider the, the the losses they might be taking, if they're taking any. You got to consider any of the other financial uh, obligations they might have going forward. So, I mean, the chances of them investing a significant amount of money into marketing is pretty slim. I think what we're going to get is we'll, we'll get one big trailer. That trailer will be split up into commercials you know, here and there to be tossed on TV. And you're going to get a lot of advertising on HBO Max for subscribers. And you'll get commercials promoting Godzilla vs. Kong with HBO Max. Now, we've already gotten something very similar to that. I don't know if you guys watch football. But on Sunday, I was watching the Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and one of the commercial breaks had very much of that. It was an HBO Max commercial that was displaying all the movies that are coming out on HBO Max this year, including Godzilla vs. Kong. And they did show that short, recent clip we just got of Godzilla coming out of the water and being punched by Kong. They did show that. So that's the kind of stuff we can expect. You know, there is supposed to be, uh, I think, the end of this month, Empire Magazine is supposed to feature Godzilla vs. Kong in a magazine. Chances are, perhaps after that, we'll get the trailer. That's kind of usually how it goes. Uh, if you remember Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters in 2018, I would say about two weeks before Comic-Con, when we got that big trailer for King of the Monsters, there was the Empire Magazine release, uh, or at least it was somewhere in that range. It was somewhere in that region. Like within two to four weeks of Comic Con, we got the Empire Magazine feature. Uh, same thing happened with Godzilla 2014. Empire Magazine, remember Godzilla was on the cover. Shortly thereafter, we got a trailer. So if we're going to follow that formula, then realistically, the trailer is probably going to hit the first week or two of February, which would indeed make it, excuse me, sorry, which would indeed make it mid February from now. So. I think that's what you can expect. The bottom line is the trailer's coming soon, and even better, the mo the movie's coming soon thereafter. So, um, you know, I think it's a very exciting time. You know, we have a, a very short short amount of time to, uh, to, to, I guess, I don't know, in some respects, get ready for everything that's coming. Uh, but again, I wouldn't expect too much of a heavy hand on marketing. Uh, like I said, I think it'll be one trailer, and that trailer will be broken down to make smaller commercials, shorter spots, so that way they can save on some money. And then we have, obviously, the uh, Empire Magazine coming out soon. Uh, there's a lot of toys coming out, too. A lot of toys. I uh, want to give credit here to James Sidoti from uh, the Nation Facebook page. He was, uh, he did, he's a big collector, so he went and found that there's already SKU numbers for some of the Playmates Godzilla toys that are coming out. And apparently there are a number of older uh, Godzilla Kaiju that they're kind of rehashing into figures. So not, not, not necessarily in this movie, but as part of 
you know, taking advantage of the fact that there's a Godzilla vs. Kong movie. There's some of the older monsters from, like, the Showa era. I think Megalon was one of them, supposed to be coming out of Playmates. There were no images, but he had the SKUs. He found them on Walmart. So, you know, we have a lot of toys coming. A lot of merchandise is going to be coming. I think Funko Pop has some, some reveals coming this week. So, you know, some of them could be spoilery, so you might want to watch that. But overall, look, it's very it's very exciting to to finally get close to this movie. We've waited a long time for this movie to come out. It's been delayed more than several times. And, you know, I know there's some people that are very upset about this move up. You know, you can't satisfy everybody. Everybody was complaining on how long it took this movie to come out. Everybody was complaining about the delays. Now the company moves it up and everybody complain or not everybody, but the same people complain. So it's like at this point <laughs> I just want to see the movie. I don't really care what they do with it. Um, you know, in terms of how much money the company makes, uh, you know, I said this on my stream the other night, a stream that I did cut down and I put this up as a video yesterday. And I'm going to reiterate, you know, this movie's not going to make a lot of money, uh, even if it releases in China uh, or even when it releases in China. It's not going to make the amount of the amount of money that it could have made on its own under normal circumstances. So I don't think, in my opinion, again, I, I don't think that's something we should be concerned about. That is the responsibility of Legendary and Warner Brothers to do whatever they have to to generate revenue for the movie. I know a lot of people's concern is whether or not the MonsterVerse will continue. And once again, we just don't know. We just don't know. I, I think the MonsterVerse will continue. I just don't think it'll continue in the movies. Uh, that's my opinion. I think that based on a lot of the things they've been doing with comic books and, and uh, graphic novels and, and books uh, and, and even toys and things of that nature, I think that's kind of where the MonsterVerse is going to continue. Uh, again, I just don't see how you go beyond Godzilla vs. Kong, you know, with some of the monsters they got coming. So, But we'll see. I, I hope I'm wrong. I mean, I've enjoyed these movies a great deal. I think they've done an excellent job. And I would love to see at least one more installment in the movie series. But if we don't get that, I'm not going to be upset about it. I think they've done an overall good job. They had a nice little small universe. Um, I don't think we can expect Legendary and Warner Brothers to continue with this universe like Marvel does with theirs. It just it's a very niche. Uh, it's a very niche genre that, you know, it's it's like a it's like an immediate you know dopamine hit for for general fans they love the big monsters they love the buildings falling and the roaring and all that but i don't think that's something a general audience can they're not going to be interested in that for a long period of time like we are as kaiju fans so i think you know they they need to know when to put an end to it and i, I do have a feeling this is the last one so but anyway guys look that's it for the video uh we will be streaming tonight this is going to be the last week where I will be streaming uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Starting next week, streams will only be on Friday and Saturday nights. This is in preparation for when I do find a job. Uh, Friday nights would obviously be my last work. Friday would be my last night of the work week and Saturday. So, uh, you know, and in the meantime, uh, we're getting back to videos. As I said on the stream, and I'll say it here, I want to spend that time that I'm not doing streams. I'm going to be doing videos mainly in the evening. This is an early video, but I'm going to be doing them in the evening, kind of like I used to, uh, because once I do start working again, I'll be only have time to do videos in the evening. So, but anyway, we got some more content coming this week. Uh, I'm going to be going to Godzilla singular point of the monsters. I want to be kind of do a comparison of the old designs versus the new designs and how I feel about them, what I like, what I don't like. I got a lot of movie reviews coming this week. And of course, this is the last week of streams uh, that not total streaming, just full time. I'll be streaming tonight at 8 p.m. So you can come by. We can talk some more Godzilla if you want. We can talk some other things. Uh, but I think I think we should definitely be excited about what's to come with this movie. And I'm looking forward to everything involved in whatever marketing they provide. So but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you all soon. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Definitely share this with any other Kaiju fans you know. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tonight on the stream. Until then, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy.